Hello, I'm Asia with Fab Lab News. Just last month, it was National Engineering Week here in the U.S. It's a week where engineers come together and celebrate the ways engineering is making the world a better place. Let's take a moment to talk about three fab women who have turned STEM degrees into successful businesses and careers. The first is Sarah Chip, a software engineer who has developed Toolbot, a toy that teaches girls how to code. This techie bracelet allows girls to send secret messages to one another by programming them on a smartphone app. One of the reasons Sarah created the game was to get more girls interested in engineering. Wow, fashion and tech, my favorites. The second woman I want to talk about is the CEO and founder of Hearsay Social, Clara Shy. After graduating from the top of her class at Stanford and working for renowned companies such as Microsoft and Google, she started her own business. She raised $51 million for the company, which helped salespeople reach clients at the right time. Clara has also been named by Fortune Magazine as one of the most powerful women entrepreneurs and also one of the top young entrepreneurs by Business Week. The last woman on my tech engineer all-star list is data scientist Jody Vandergriff. Jody is the co-founder and CEO of Webdam, a digital asset agency. This labor of love became so successful that Shutterstock eventually acquired it. This year was also the first year Engineering Week had a girl day. The goal of this day was to change the conversation to show girls that studying engineering helps develop skills that can lead to successful careers in medicine, law, government, and much, much more. The other goal for the day was to show girls that they don't need to be exceptional in both math and science, because I wasn't, to be engineers. But instead, they need the ability to be creative problem solvers. Do you like subjects like science, math, and engineering? What is it that you like about them? Have you ever thought about pursuing a career in engineering? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fab Lab news stories. This is Asia, over and out.